Hello everyone! So, we just got ourselves a new secret lair. And it wasn't the Extra Life secret lair, it was the Marvel secret lair. This news came out just yesterday, as of October 18th, 2024. This is the secret lair Marvel Super Drop. And while I myself am not the hugest commander player, I pretty much just play with my brothers when we get together. Um, I do appreciate when certain products can come together to create a meaningful um, what's it, experience for players. And I know there are a lot of people that are really, really into Marvel. So seeing these characters come to Magic is going to be pretty huge for a lot of them. So we're going to read through this real quick and we're, we are going to give our thoughts on what these cards are. So. Greetings, true believers. <laughs> yeah, that's what Stanley used to say. We recently unveiled a new line of secret lair drops at New York Comic Con 2024, the Marvel Super Drop. Fans got a first look at the heroes of the Marvel Universe in magic, with five secret lair drops each themed around one of these fan favorite characters. There's something for every Marvel and magic fan. When comic books come to card games, it's sure to be the team-up of the century. Fans can receive free shipping on all single orders over $99. Terms and conditions may apply, so blah 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 blah. Okay, so it's the usual thing. It's a super drop. It's a limited quantity. So hopefully you can actually get a chance to get your hands on some of these. Um, but I wouldn't hold my breath. These things tend to sell out almost instantaneously but we'll still go over the cards either way because i like new cards so starting up we have earth's mightiest emblem this is basically the arcane signet and it actually says so right underneath the title it tells you what the card actually is in terms of what it's covering in magic and it's just an artifact for two mana tap it for any color in your commander's color identity so, that's your new emblem. Earth's Mightiest Heroes have brought along a special bonus. You'll receive one Arcane Signet as Earth's Mightiest Emblem. With each $199 spent on Marvel Super Drop products while supplies last. So, you're looking to spend about $200 on the Super Drop just to get this special version of Arcane Signet, which, if I'm not mistaken, isn't uncommon and is available in, I believe, every precon. So keep that in mind when you're spending your hard earned money on this. Each drop contains one new to magic card featuring a legendary creature version of one of these Marvel superheroes. These new to magic cards are legal in Commander, Legacy, and Vintage. Other cards are legal where already available in other formats. Fans of these super-powered cards can look forward to the Marvel Super Drop over on MagicSecretLair.com. The Super Drop releases on November 4, 2024. These drops are available in limited quantities. While there's no hard end date to the sale, we do plan to clean up the storefront from time to time and remove products that have been around for a while. So. That's basically them saying, this is a limited time thing, queue up, get it while you can, because there's no guarantee that you will be able to get this in the future. So, first up we have Marvel Lair X Marvel's Black Panther. So, what we have here is Black Panther Wakandan King. He's a 2-2 first strike for a white and a green. I'm honestly surprised to find that this is a Selesnia uh, character. For, for some reason, I kind of figured Black Panther would be um, Jund in colors. And that's just what it kind of like reads to me in my brain. Anyways, it says, First Strike and Survey the Realm. Whenever Black Panther or another creature you control enters, put a plus one plus one counter on target land you control. Okay, so he's, he is a lands matters kind of character. And it says, like, can I increase the size of this at all? Let me see if this does anything. Nah, that really doesn't. 
Okay. Well, we'll just have to try and read it as best as possible. Maybe I can... Here, let me click this right here. Will this allow me to increase the size at all? Nah, not really. Okay. That's fine. We'll deal. It says... Mine Vibration, I think it is. It says, three colorless. Move all plus and plus one counters from target land you control onto target creature. If one or more plus and plus one counters are moved this way, you gain that much life and draw a card. Okay, so decent. So for two mana, it's a 2 to first strike. Already pretty decent. Um, the Survey the Realm part is pretty good. I like that a lot. Um, but the the vibration part where you can move counters from one target to another that reads as like old school modular from the affinity days and that's pretty cool and the fact that you get to draw a card and you gain life when you do that that makes this an exceptionally powerful creature and the fact that the ability only costs three to use now if you have any abilities that you could use to reduce the cost of that ability or to otherwise subvert the mana cost there, then you could have your hands on a really powerful effect. So yeah, Black Panther definitely gets the Wakandan seal of approval. Really good card. Okay, so other cards in his set are Secure the Wastes. It is X colorless and one white. It is an instant. And it says create X one one white warrior creature tokens. Okay. Makes makes a it's a decent tie-in with Black Panther because his survey the realm effect triggers whenever a, whenever another creature comes into play. So when these all come in, you get a bunch of triggers. Pretty good. Then you have Bast's Blessing, which is a reskin of Primal Vigor. It's a, an enchantment for four colorless and a green, and it reads, If one or more tokens would be created, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. Pretty good. If one or more plus and plus one counters would be put on a creature, twice that many plus and plus one counters are put on that creature instead. Okay, so it's um, it's Hardened Scales. Um, it's Hardened Scales and, and then some. Pretty, pretty decent. Mana cost is a little heavy, though. It's a heavy mana cost, but when you're playing Commander, you don't really care about your mana cost being that heavy. So you, you'll just you just play things. There's a lot of um, ways to subvert um, heavy mana costs. Then we have Heroic Intervention. This is probably the thing that's going to be selling this uh, this drop right here. So Heroic Intervention is a damn good card. One and a green instant permanence you control gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. That's all your permanents. Actually, yeah, all permanents you control, hexproof and indestructible. Stupid strong card, really, really good. Then here we have Wakandan Skyscraper. It is a land that is a reskin of Karn's Bastion and it taps for a colorless or you can pay four and tap to proliferate. So very clearly, Black Panther, plus one counters, creating Plus one creatures, plus one counters from Bass Blessing. Wakanda Skyscraper is giving you proliferate. It's definitely a plus one counters matters um, kind of deck that you're going to be building with Black Panther. So just bear that in mind. But here is probably one of my favorite cards right here is the Warrior Token itself. That art is honestly fantastic. Like the, the composition of the Wakandan warrior in the front with the shield and the spear looking ready to just take down whatever is in her way against the backdrop of the what you can only assume is the, the African Velt and the sky behind her head like that. It's like that is that is a heroic pose if I've ever seen one. That is a damn good looking card. I would honestly try and like trade people for that token alone that token is gorgeous i love it okay so let's keep on moving leaping from the heart of wakanda into the depths of secret lair black panther is on the prowl featuring the alter ego of warrior king t'challa this drop brings the vi the power of vibranium to bear across five majestic cards including an all-new legendary black panther wakandan king protect your people punish your enemies and preserve your position as commander and king. 
Art is by Taylor or Tyler Jacobson, Jake Murray, Hernanda Souza, Sway Art, and Salvatore Ziazzi. I hope I did not butcher those names. Uh, let's see, and then there's your contents and pricing for non foil is thirty nine ninety nine. Rainbow foil is forty nine ninety nine. So forty or fifty dollars for this pack of cards here. Honestly. For the um, alternate treatments, the fact that it is Marvel, you get a new commander, a new spell, and a few things that are actually pretty decent. I believe Heroic Intervention actually fetches a pretty decent price still. So, honestly, Heroic Intervention might um, be enough to um, to sell this. So, good on him. Next up is the Captain America Secret Lair. So, Captain America, he is a red, white, and blue, or teamer, uh, commander. He's a 4-4, and he has the, oh, well, first up, his types. He is a human soldier hero, and he has throw. You pay three colorless mana, unattach an equipment from Captain America. He deals damage equal to that equipment's mana value, divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets because the shield goes ping pang pong yeah and then he has catch at the beginning of combat on your turn attach up to one target equipment you control to captain america okay so first main phase you throw whatever equipment you have attached to him let's say for example you have like a um like a sword of um Sword of Ice and Fire or whatever attached to him. You throw it, it deals like one damage to like three different things. And then it comes back when you go to combat. Or even still, it's like you can throw one equipment and then equip a different equipment when you go to combat. So that's that's another thing to consider. And the fact that he's a 4-4 four, four for only three mana? Not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly, me personally, I kind of like this one a little bit more than uh, Black Panther. So, so far, Captain America is uh, leading the pack for me. Next up, you have Captain America's Aid, which is a reskin of Sigarda's Aid. It's an enchantment for one white mana. It says you may cast aura and equipment spells as though they had flash. Okay, we're seeing a theme here. Captain America cares about equipment. Whenever an equipment you control enters, you may attach it to target creature you control. Wow, that's that's a really good card. I um I don't think I was playing Magic at the time when Sigarda's Aid was like really popular or in standard. So this is not a card that I'm very well versed with. But now seeing this card as it is, like that's a damn good card. Moving on, Flawless Maneuver is two colorless and a white. It says instant. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying this mana cost. Creatures you control gain indestructible until on a turn. Wow. That's, that is very on theme for Captain America. I mean, Captain America has always been the, the tank of the group. Always the, the guy stepping up front to protect his friends. I like that. That's, that's cool. That's very on flavor. Very good. Okay, next up we have In the Trenches. Okay, so once upon a time, there was a card game based off of Marvel. It was called Overpower. I used to play this game um, back in the 90s. And this uh, game had um, uh, character team-ups, like team-up cards. So you could, if you had like each of the characters on your team that would comprise a team-up, you could play the team-up card and get like really powerful effects. It was almost like a, like if you ever played like Chrono Trigger, it would, it would be like a, a triple tech, like all three of your characters coming in and doing something cool all at once. So just before I even read the card, the artwork on this card right here with all of the, all of the friends here ready to go to battle, that right away reminds me of those old team up cards. So, Th that probably fell on deaf ears 
there were not a lot of people who played Overpower, but me and a few of my friends did, so that's that's pretty special to me. All right, so let's read it. In the trenches, one and two white enchantment. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. Five colorless and a white. Exile target non-land permanent you don't control until this enchantment leaves the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery and only once. This actually is in standard right now. This came out in, I believe, um, Brothers War. Um, it is really expensive no one plays it so that might be why this card looks a little bit new <laughs> at least to me because i have not even thought about this card in a very long time but the fact that it has the ability to exile something albeit for a very expensive cost does give it certain utility so i could see at least in commander a card like this being very good Okay, and last we have the Shield of War and Peace, which is a reskin of the Sword of War and Peace. Because Captain America doesn't use swords, he uses shields. So, three colorless, artifact equipment, equipped creature gets plus two plus two, and has protection from red and from white. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, this equipment deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand, and you gain one life for each card in your hand. So. Pretty decent, G good way to um, counterbalance damage a little bit, save yourself a little bit of health in the process, not too bad. Just the fact that it's Captain America's shield as the Sword of War and Peace, that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front and say that that's not cool, because it kind of is. Okay, so, Captain America, Captain America's aid, flawless maneuver in the trenches and shield war piece. Pretty decent setup. I mean, it definitely um, leads you down the route of like white weenie, that kind of uh, situation. Personally, um, I, pref I think Captain America is a great card, but I think that this whole setup right here is just a little bit better. You're probably getting a little bit more value from the ba Black Panther secret lair than the Captain America one. All right, moving on. <clears throat> oh, we'll read the little blurb here. It says, Justice, Liberty, Honor. These are the values Captain America protects with his shield held high. That's why each and every courageous card in this drop, including the all-new legendary Captain America, First Avenger, is dedicated to protecting the downtrodden. Because it's not enough to just win your next commander battle. You have to win the right way. Art is by Anthony Devine, Howard Lyon, Ryan Pancoast, Livia Prima, and Chris Ron. And same cost. It's for non-foil, it's gonna be 40 bucks, and for rainbow foil, it will be 50. Alright, moving on to Iron Man. This looks interesting. Uh, so Iron Man, Titan of Innovation. For a three colorless, a blue and a red. It's a legendary artifact creature, human hero. I, I can see him being an artifact creature not just because of the suit that he wears but the fact that his life is artificially preserved by the arc reactor in his chest so i can understand that that makes sense to me so for 4-4 four, four, he's a human hero with flying and haste that makes sense and he says genius industrialist whenever iron man attacks create a treasure token then you may sacrifice a non-creature artifact if you do Search your library for an artifact card with mana value equal to 1, plus the sacrificed artifact's mana value. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Okay, so right off the bat, you can sacrifice the treasure token to go and get an artifact that costs 1. What artifacts cost 1? Well, right here, in this section here, Commander's Plate costs 1, and Soul Ring costs 1, just to name a few. I imagine there's quite a few other one mana artifacts that you might want to search up just by throwing the, the treasure token away. That's a pretty damn good card. Honestly, really good. Okay, moving on. We have Galvanic Blast, one red mana, deals two damage to any target. Metalcraft, Galvanic Blast deals four damage instead if you control three or more artifacts. So, really good card. Pairs in perfectly with the fact that Iron Man is a um, an artifact himself. He creates artifact tokens. You're going to be building is it artifacts with this deck. I mean, already that's very plainly obvious. 
Commander's Plate is a one mana artifact equipment that says equipped creature gets plus three plus three and has protection from each color that's not in your col commander's color identity. So by equipping this to Iron Man, you will be giving protection from green, white, and black. And those are relevant. Equip Commander 3 or equip anyone else for 5. Then, of course, you have the Soul Ring, which <laughs> is drawn to be the Arc Reactor. So, the Iron Man's Arc Reactor is Soul Ring. Honestly, that's pretty cool. I mean, again, not even gonna front, that's pretty damn cool. Okay. Then we have Inventor's Fair, Legendary Land, drawn to have the appearance of the Stark Expo. You probably remember that, remember that from Iron Man 2. It says, Legendary Land, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more artifacts, you gain a life. Pretty cool. Then you could tap it to add a Carlos. Four and tap, sacrifice Inventor's Fair, search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Activate only if you control three or more artifacts. That's just going to be easy to do with this deck. And then the treasure token is Iron Man's Mask. Okay, so this is a really cool super drop. Really cool. Iron Man is an, an awesome character. He has a lot of really cool, very thematic cards that's coming with him. Um, current, current ranking, I would say Iron Man first, Black Panther second, Captain America third. Yeah, that, that's how I'm ranking them so far. Okay, let's keep on going. Billionaire, genius philanthropist, and now secret lair drop. Tony Stark really has done it all. High tech, low drag, all power. This drop features sleek art and five cutting edge cards, including an all new legendary Iron Man Titan of Innovation card that will put you into the armor of the Avengers most inventive superhero. Art is by Bud Cook, Justina Dura, Lee Satiwan, Anna Steinbauer, and Marco Teixeira. Hopefully, I'm not absolutely butchering those names. And again, $40 for non-foil, $50 for rainbow foil. So, this one right here might be one that you might want to consider getting in foil. I imagine these cards would look really good in foil. Okay, next up we have Storm. Storm little known fact one of my favorite x-men storm is easily up there with not just all the different stories that she's been a part of but all of like the different like um uh renditions that she's had over the years like back in the 80s when she had like the mohawk i mean into the 90s when we had the x-men saturday morning cartoon where she was by all rights, probably one of the most powerful characters in the entire damn show. I mean, it's, she's had so many different versions of herself, and all of them have been really cool. I really like Storm. So let's see what Magic is doing with Storm. Storm, Force of Nature, is one green, blue, red. So that's teamer colors. And she's a 3-4 with flying and vigilance. She's a mutant hero. Bear in mind... She's a mutant, so you can use like those mutation spells on her. Flying and Vigilance, Ceaseless Tempest. Whenever Storm deals combat damage to a player, the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn has Storm. Okay, now we know exactly what Storm is doing. Storm be Stormin'. Okay, all right, what else do we have here? So we have Lightning Bolt, awesome, that's fantastic. The OG Lightning Bolt as shown by punk rock 80s mohawk wearing storm awesome also we have storm's will which is a reskin of jessica's will this is one of the most played red cards in all of commander so right off the bat this is a fantastic um set already so jessica's will awesome two colors in red sorcery choose one if you control a commander as you cast the spell, you may choose both. One is add a red for each card in target opponent's hand. And the other is exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Super, super strong effect. 
Then we have Ice Storm. Ice Storm. This was a card from way, 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 way back in the day. This is one of the few instances of green land destruction. I believe there's only two, maybe three in all of Magic. So Ice Storm, two and a colorless, sorcery, destroy target land. It is literally just a color shifted stone rain. It is a really, really good card. I, for a lot of people that might be coming to the game in recent years, you may not understand how powerful land destruction is. Land destruction is a strategy that the developers have moved away from pretty much wholesale. People don't like having their lands messed with and being locked out of a game just because that they can't play their spells. And so, Wizards have taken extreme steps to make sure that this strategy cannot be played in modern magic. Um, to the point of like any cards that currently destroy lands in like Standard and I believe Explorer too, um, all of those effects will replace the, th the land that they've destroyed with a basic land. So a card like Ice Storm would never find its way into current Standard. It's just not something that would happen. So, yeah, that's a it's a shame too because I used to have a lot of fun with land destruction. It was a very very fun strategy. I liked it personally because it was a strategy that was kind of balanced in the fact that if you went really hard on like resource denial in like the land destruction way, you really left yourself open for. Um, like just like aggressive strategies to run you over so it was kind of like a, a balancing act that you had to meet in the middle like how much removal can i run and still run enough land destruction in order to really mess up my opponent so fortunately cards like this you're just not gonna see them anymore all right moving on aurora borealis this is a reskin of Manamorphos. So it is one colorless and a red or a green to cast a spell. It is an instant and it reads add two mana in any combination of colors then draw a card. So basically this spell will help you um, filter mana into what you actually need for this turn and then you get to draw a card off of it. So it's a pretty good cantrip. I, I would personally play this. Like if, if this was in standard, I would absolutely play this card. It's a good card. Especially in decks that are playing three or four colors. <clears throat> Shutter the windows and head down to the cellar. Storm is coming. This Gale Force drop features stunning artwork of Storm across five fierce cards, including the all-new legendary Storm Force of Nature card. Summon the Fury of the Elements and add the X-Men's most electric leader into your next commander deck. Art is by Miguel Mercado, Francisco Miara, Kevin Siddhartha, Magali Villeneuve, and Pauline Voss. Again, apologies if I butchered any of those names. Alright, same cost. 40 for non-foil, 50 for foil. I'm gonna say if I were to buy any of these so far, this would probably be it. Not just for Jessica's will, but probably for Ice Storm also. And moving on to, I believe the last one is the best there is. It's the Wolverine. And surprising no one, Wolverine is a gruel commander. So he is a 2 2 for a colorless, a red, and a green. He's a legendary creature, a mutant berserker hero so again he's a mutant so bring your mutation cards so he says unrivaled lethality double all damage wolverine would deal <laughs> okay bear in mind that said all damage that did not say combat damage at the beginning of each end step if wolverine dealt damage to another creature this turn put a plus one plus one counter on him okay very cool and he also has Regenerate for two mana. That's amazing. We have not seen regenerate on a card in a very long time. So let's 
see what we have here. So he deals double damage. So that's double damage in combat. Double damage if he fights another creature. That's double damage if you fling him at something. And the specific fling effect goes off of... Like, like if the fling card reads the creature deals the damage and not the spell deals the damage, then Wolverine is going to deal double damage in that instance. Um, but, yeah. He fights for double damage. That's pretty cool. Next we have Berserk. Mm. Berserk makes me want to buy this. It really does. One green mana. Instant. Cast this spell only before the combat step. Target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is his power. At the beginning of the next end step, destroy the creature if it attacked this turn, but only if it attacked. So, you can berserk him and then have him fight something or strike something and it won't die. But if you attack with it, it will die at end of turn, but that'll be okay because you could regenerate him. It doesn't even matter. So, berserk and wolverine, pretty good. Yeah, it does it does not say bury or cannot be regenerated or exile or anything like that. It just says destroy. So that's pretty good. I like the wording on that. Next is Rite of Passage. Two Carlos and a green, and it features um, artwork of Wolverine and X23. So that's very thematic in Rite of Passage. So you got Wolverine teaching X23 the ropes. I like that. It says, whenever a creature you control is dealt damage, put a plus one plus one counter on it. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that a lot. Yeah. And Flavor Text says, nice moves, Laura. Now let's have some real fun. Danger Room, remove all safety protocols. Yeah, that, that would definitely be fun for people like that. Next, we have Rhythm of the Wild. One carless, a red and a green. Enchantment. Creatures, spells you control can't be countered. That's nasty. Non-token creatures you control have Riot. That's nasty. What exactly does Riot do? I believe Riot gave like creatures that came into play this turn like a plus one counter or like plus and plus one, something along those lines. And then we have Adamantian Bonding Tank. This is a reskin of the Ozolith. As one colorless mana, legendary artifact, and it reads, Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on Adamantium Bonding Tank. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if tank has counters on it, you may move all counters from it onto target creature. Very cool. So, if you were playing Commander, but playing with a... Um, a Naya commander, you could potentially run Rhythm of the Wild and, or not Rhythm of Wolverine and um, Black Panther in the same deck, just not as your commander. All right, bub, it's time to brawl. This dangerous drop combines mutant healing factor with killer instincts to bring you five ferocious cards inspired by the X-Men's most relentless member, including an all-new legendary Wolverine Best There Is card. Grab this drop and the bones of your next commander deck will be coated in adamantium. Art is by Adam Minguez, Alexander Makov, Anna Padadwarna, Robin Alusin, and Elise Rox. Again, apologies for my pronunciation. Okay, and same cast, $40 non-foil, $50 foil. So, if you were to buy each of these in foil, that's $50 times 5, you're looking at $250. That's a lot of money for cards that are only going to be legal in Commander, Legacy, and Vintage. I mean... If this is the kind of stuff that you're into, I mean, you're getting some value for sure, because like these are really cool cards with really cool treatments, and it's stuff that you won't be able to get in any other way. So, I mean, hell, I mean, this is it's pretty cool. And also, bear in mind, I'm I'm saying this as someone who's not like the hugest um, Commander fan or the hugest um, Marvel fan, but I I'll give credit where credit's due. These are some cool designs. 
I like these a lot. Okay, moving on. Uh, see, and yep, yeah, that I believe is the end of the article. It says, assemble this fantastic super drop of Earth's Mightiest Heroes with Marvel heroes of all kinds on Magic Cards for the very first time. We're excited to bring this collaboration to you, and we'll have more to share with you soon. The Marvel Super Drop launches on November 4th, so get yourself in queue for this, because this is very likely to sell out very, very fast. So, that is that. And with that, I will say thank you very much for um, going over these cards with me, and best of luck in getting yours. So, 